here's another one of my um rant videos and it's basically about tv shows and movies and people that um constantly complain about tv shows in general and about movies as well now um this isn't like a blast about people shouldn't be able to criticize um a tv show um or a movie but it's when people kind of like criticize something but they're unable to sit there to tell you why they feel that something doesn't work or what could be done to improve um a tv show or a um a movie right right for argument's sake now for those of you who've watched one or two of my t um, tv sh um, movie reviews mostly i mean i tend to um give you like the basic story but not too much to kind of spoil it i then um give you uh, my uh, my opinion as to why i liked it or didn't like it and then i'll sit there and i'll say to you why i think it did or didn't work and then i'll explain um what could have been done to kind of improve it and then hopefully you know like if they make a sequel um obviously they're not going to listen to somebody like me anyway but you kind of hope that um some of these criticism are, are taken above board and been improved for um the next movie or you know next season of, of a, a tv series now with um tv shows you're always going to get depending on how many episodes are in the season you're always going to get some episodes that are kind of going to be great maybe you might get um an average episode or you might get a filler episode or maybe the episode isn't kind of great in general now the writers and the producers and the people that work behind the scenes we um look let's let's just face facts they don't go out to sit there to um make bad episodes i mean obviously they want to make the best quality that they can and maybe sometimes there's um um there's um obviously there's not like a wholehearted agreement with the team as to what they want to implement and it's trying to maybe trying to find that balance as to what they want they feel that they want to put into into the characters and then the story progression so it's not an easy thing to do and especially if you're making like a high quality show on it um right from the bat to the end of the season this is the the, the Show's been absolutely been great, and then so people, so I mean, people's expectations grow, and the standards that what people expect start to increase as each season goes by, and then it gets harder and harder for the writers to try and top the previous season. It's not an easy thing to do, and I think too many people sit there in the comfort of their armchair, especially on social media or wherever social media platforms, and they'll create, um, they'll sit in their armchair complaining about something. And then they don't, they're not the ones that have to sit there to write the episodes. And, so, and I've often said, if you sit there and you think something's got bad writing or you don't think, think something is good, get off your backside, get a pen and paper and write and, and then write yourself. But none of these people will sit there and do it. Now, if I, now with special sci-fi, I'm a sci-fi nut and superhero nut. If I had the brains, yeah, I would sit in there and then I will be, I would love to be able to write um movies and tv shows if but i know it's a difficult thing to do and i know with myself that i just couldn't do it and i know that it must be hard for the writer to sit there you know to um, to to come up with something that's going to please everybody that's part of the problem with superman obviously where you want some people want the christopher reeves one there's some people um that um um that don't want that and it's or and they would want a completely different superman um, and it, which I was explained in another video, and it's a hard thing to do to come up with that balance for the writer. So, you know, it can't be an easy thing. And I don't, to me, there's nothing wrong with criticism, but I think you, there's there's a thing where you have constructive criti criticism over a TV series or a show or a movie, should I say as well. And I think too many people sit there and then they and then they complain and. You can criticize something, and then it's, and it's all, all you get is, is this pure negativity. That's the reason why I've stopped watching movie reviews of TV shows and from other people, whether it's on social media. And I mean, I just avo I just avoid it now because whether it's good or bad or people just being biased, it's always the, the, the common de denominator. 
I've noticed is that you just get pure negativity. So now I don't worry about the score about or score about something or about a movie or TV series. I just watch it and if I like it, I like it. And if they carry on making the shows or they don't or they don't do it, I mean it's no skin of my nose because I'm I don't have, I'm not invested in I'm you know, I don't work for that company or I don't have shares in that company. You know what I mean? Shares I mean, TV shows come and go. Whether or not it's something that you really love, it's going to end at some. It's going to end at some point. So, yeah, it can be disappointing when a show ends, like say, like Star Girls ending on season three. And I really enjoyed that. But that's that's just life. I mean, that's just we're wrong or rightly why something should end. It's just a, you know, it's just life. But as I said, I don't understand why people are just negative about everything. Yeah, some shows can have problems. Like say, they can have. Um, they don't focus on character development or story progression where the pace where they're not um the pacing of the actual seasons um the episodes in that season um like like with um like with Star Wars and for, for example it's up to episode nine for me and I feel like there's no story progression and then there's twelve episodes in the season and then you get this somewhat a horrible um pit your stomach that Although it's got a season two, but they're just gonna sit there and um, maybe just throw everything, um, you know, like they're going to um, throw everything into the last two seasons, which I don't think it think is good. I mean, I um, when you sit there and you've got a nice even pace to a TV series, good character development, good story progression, so you feel like the story is going somewhere and there's character development going on, then you feel invested in the actual show. So, you know, I mean, so that's my kind of, um, that's the only problem I have with, say, with TV shows. But I have that problem with all TV shows, some more than others. Some, some TV shows get the, the, um, the pacing right, 